My first love of photography is probably wildlife. You know, when I was a young photographer, that's really what I concentrated on was shooting, shooting pictures of wildlife. But really as my career has evolved, I'm becoming known more now for, for capturing the Texas culture, you know, and trying to capture those people and places that really epitomize what it's like to be Texan and what it means to be a Texan. The neat thing about living in this country is you not only have the wildlife component, but you've got this wide open country that when a lot of people from outside the state think of what Texas is like, this is the kind of area they think about. And it's, and it's really neat and really gratifying to be able to wake up and be amongst this kind of uh, culture and this kind of landscape on a day-to-day -day basis. This country was built on the backs of, of cowboys and Comanche Indians and bison hunters and, and early on I learned about the, uh, all, all the history of all three of those groups and how they tie in and how they really interweave into the tapestry of this, of this country in, in the Texas Rolling Plains. And because of that I became enamored with the history of the buffalo hunter and the history of the bison in Texas and on the South Plains and uh, I can recall I was at Caprock Canyon State Park early one evening shooting pictures of the buffalo and their buffalo herd there at the state park and this one single bull was grazing and then at the very last minute, the very last light, he turned and looked towards the sun and captured a moment um, and, and I was able to capture a moment that's really become iconic. I know when a lot of people talk about pictures I've taken, they talk about that one photo that was taken probably 12 years ago. When people ask me the secret to taking a great photograph, I tell them there's really not a secret at all. It, it's really about, if you can, you can think of anything that you want to be, you, you say, I want to be good at blank. And if it's basketball, or if it's baseball, or if it's making quilts, or if it's photography, it all boils down to doing a few key things right every time and understanding the elements within that discipline so your results become predictable. Like in photography, I, I tell people a couple of things they need to think about all the time. They need to think about light first and foremost, whether it's natural light with the sun or artificial light if you're introducing some strobes. Uh, composition is a, is a key component of it in my mind. You know, comp composition is one thing that if you learn it and learn it well, you can transform mediocre photos to great photos almost overnight. It makes a huge change in the way your f photographs look. I get asked a lot about what kind of equipment someone can buy that, that'll make them a great photographer. You know, really being a great photographer is a little bit about the equipment, but it's a lot about inspiration. It's a lot about understanding your subject and understanding how to interact with that subject. Whether that subject's a, a landscape or whether it's people in the outdoors or whether it's, it's wildlife. It's just taking the time to do all the background information and understanding what it is you're taking pictures of. I spend as much time researching a subject is, or twice as much time researching a subject as I do actually photographing it because when I go into a situation I've got a finite amount of time and so I want to know all I can about what I'm taking a picture of whether it's whether I'm traveling to the Big Bend to shoot pictures of, of great landscapes or whether I'm traveling to, uh, to, to the northern panhandle to shoot pictures of prairie chickens or whether I'm tra traveling to someone's farm to shoot a picture of, of their hard-earned labor and their hard work and, and what it means to be a farmer in Texas, I try to know as much as I can about the subject. And to me, more than equipment, it, that's the secret to being a, a great photographer. Whoa, you didn't get that, did you? Uh, yeah, actually I did.